Hi, my name is Brandon Baldwin. Welcome to SUNY Canton Automotive Technology. Come on in. Inside you'll see that we have a spacious lab with lots of room. We also have uh, over here, you'll see we have a variety of different engines that we have uh, from different manufacturers that the students get to work on. In fact, in a lot of our labs, if the student wants to work on one of our products, so say for instance an engine or a transmission, uh, they can work on ours first. They can screw up and then work on their own if they wish. Come on, come on over here. We typically, on a typical lab day, We'll meet here at the bench first where everybody signs in and then we uh, provide a lesson and then provide uh, direction on what kind of jobs they want to do uh, for the uh, lab lessons. Over here I'm bringing it to this so that way uh, I want to mention that uh, we were the first uh, in the Northeast to get uh, snap-on diagnostic certification training. And uh, this, so this is from the first generation, which is full uh, completely of electronics. As you probably see behind me, we've got a bunch of diesel engines. Now we have a diesels course that we're running in the, in the spring of the even number of years. And we run air conditioning in the odd number of years uh, in the spring semester as well. So the students have quite a variety of different courses they can have. In fact, I think I should mention as we're walking that the courses that, are, that go on here, the students have so much flexibility with what they're doing here that uh, they can tailor their non-automotive courses to, be, to go towards what they want to do. Uh, in fact, um, this, I want to mention too that this is an AAS degree. So therefore you will take the math, you'll take the sciences uh, and the humanities to go along with it. But then that makes our degree so much more transferable. So let's keep on going. So I'm going to bring you over to this hybrid. Uh, in this hybrid, because uh, we spend quite a bit of time with hybrid and electric vehicles, I figured I might as well show you what the, the inside of a hybrid looks like. And you can see our cells that are right here. In fact, uh, we've, you may notice that uh, we have a cell that's out right now, because uh, we're going to do a little bit of experimenting with it. So as we go this way, you may just notice that uh, we've got a Chevy behind us. Uh, we just left a Lexus and we left a Subaru. Uh, we also have a BMW. So what I'm getting to is that uh, we have a lots of variety of different manufacturers of vehicles here. So that way, if you are you know, more akin to say, for instance, uh, Subaru or um, Honda or the domestics, well, we can tailor your education uh, with th that kind of flexibility. Now you notice here we've got all these engines Again, donated by uh, one of our uh, alumni, as well as many of the things that are in this lab are donated by our alumni because they're successful. Come on this way. Over here, I wanted to show you that uh, uh, in this toolbox, because I've got this is the, for the latest for Snap-on Diagnostics. And again, we are the only one in the state of New York uh, that has Snap-on Diagnostics certification. And we give that to our students for free in their fourth semester. So you may, ex may expect that in a uh, box like this, you might see a whole bunch of uh, shiny tools, but in fact, this is 100% electronics. In fact, right, we do it wirelessly nowadays, and the students can even uh, email me uh, what they find on their uh, scan tool. Again, 100% electronics. Nowadays, we'll use something like this, which is an amp clamp, to do things like compression tests because everything leaves an electronic signature. Behind me, right, you'll see that uh, we've got a Subaru poster on the wall. Uh, it's because we've had a partnership with Subaru since 2012. And uh, we've got a lot of Subaru enthusiasts here. And uh, we also use this little area here uh, for the sake of micro-credentials. Uh, each of our students has so many micro-credentials, whether it be snap-on meters or snap-on diagnostics. Each student that's in Subaru too, uh, meaning that you, can have, you have the opportunity to be part of Subaru University 
and they get the same micro-credentials that automotive technicians in the field get uh, when they first start too. So, right, you can get them even before you leave here, which makes you even more hireable. Behind us, right, you'll see that we've got an all-wheel drive dynamometer, which means that uh, we can uh, reproduce drivability concerns uh, and we can do it over and over again. So for instance, when we're talking about turbos and you want to see a wastegate operate, I mean, I could strap you to the top of the engine out in the parking lot and right, drive around, but that's not very safe. So therefore, right, right here, students can simply stand here. I can reproduce the same thing over and over again. Uh, for those that may know this kind of car, I uh, may have noticed that we've performed a few modifications on it. Uh, and this is our current dyno mule, uh, which is a donation from a dealership that's up the road. And again, from one of our alumni. To this side, you'll see that we've got the stool, student toolboxes because each student has their own set of the shiny toolboxes. But I want to mention that we have so many scan tools. We have enough scan tools for every student in the program. We have enough cars for every student in the program too. So if you want to work by yourself, you can. You have that flexibility. Come on this way. So I wanted to mention too that uh, one of the things that uh, we've got, which is a little bit unusual, is in our transmissions course, uh, we even cover CVTs, which is the latest uh, kind of transmission that's out there. And uh, th with this one, we have a cutaway, and uh, we can operate it pneumatically, so you can really see how a transmission works.